welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be helping you decide what blush shade is right for your specific skin tone, and I'm also going to be teaching you the correct way to apply a blush. So I'll see you back in a sec. Welcome back. So now I'm going to teach you what to look for in a blush. Now when purchasing a blush, you want to be sure to buy one that is more on the matte side. You don't want to buy a blush that has any shimmer to it because it doesn't necessarily have a lot of pigment and it's not going to give you that look that you're going for. You always want to keep your highlight or your shimmer separate. You never want to have your color and your shimmer in the same product unless it's eyeshadow, lipstick, or lip gloss. When it comes to the face, you want to deal with a canvas and then we can always add color later. Incorporating a blush into your makeup routine is very important. Naturally, we do have a little bit of color to our cheeks, so once we're done applying foundation and bringing back that natural color of warmth to our skin, we don't wanna miss that step of adding our natural flush that we have to the cheeks. Now, if your skin tone is a little bit more on the cool side and you have a lot of redness to your skin, you don't necessarily have to wear a blush because I know you don't wanna enhance any of the redness into your skin, but if you still want to add a little bit of color um, try doing a little bit of bronzer on the cheeks but be sure it's a really really light bronzer and also very matte just so that way it does give you a little bit of color but it's not bringing out any redness now I'm going to show you two of my favorite blushes and what I recommend for you guys to purchase now there is two different shades of blushes out there that I think are beautiful on everyone now there is a pink undertone blush and there is a peach undertone blush. These are great basic blushes to add to your collection. And then later, if you wanna go ahead and amp the blush and give it a little bit of dimension and give it a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of pop, that's what you're gonna go ahead and do afterwards and that's what I'm gonna show you as well. But everyone needs to have a basic blush that they can wear every single day that doesn't have any shimmer to it. Now, I personally like to alternate between pink and peach. You can do the same thing as well. And now I'm gonna show you another important blush to add to your blush routine. This is a transition blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my hair behind my ear. So as you can see, we do have a little bit of bronzer on. That's what we did in the previous video. Now, once you're done with bronzer, you're not gonna go in with blush because look at how unnatural that looks. Nobody naturally has bronzer or a little bit of warmth to their skin and then immediately has this bright color of pink. It just doesn't look natural and it doesn't look flattering. So if you take a look right over here, this is a transition blush. So it kind of has a little bit of warmth to it, but it also has a little bit of a cinnamon tone to it. So when it kind of goes into the peach color, it's almost like a ombre effect. So that way it doesn't go from bronze to pink. Now moving on with application, I'm gonna go ahead and link for you all my favorite brushes down below, just so that way you can see exactly what I'm using on my skin and how much they retail for. Now you always wanna take your brush and dip it into the product, but never go directly onto your skin, just so that way it doesn't deposit all that color. You wanna be sure to go from pan to hand, just so that way it goes on more blended. Now when applying the transition color, I'm gonna show you exactly where to put it. Now we're not gonna take it and put it where our bronzer is because that's where our bronzer is and that's where we wanna keep our warmth. And we're not gonna keep, we're not gonna take it to the center of the face because that's where we're gonna put our blush. Now the blush is supposed to go on the apples of the cheeks. The apples of the cheek, when you take a look when I smile, is gonna be the round part of the cheek. So when I smile, you can see this round part right over here and you can see how the bronzer is right over here. So your transition shade is gonna go between this round spot, the apple of the cheek, and the bronzer. So it's gonna go right in the middle. And you can instantly see too, once I'm done applying the transition color, how naturally it starts to blend that bronzer into the blush. And you'll see after I'm done applying the blush how it really does make a difference and it really enhances the color to your face. It just overall gives a more healthy appearance to the skin. Now I like to do everything step by step. I kind of like to build my product. I don't like to go in with a lot and then kind of soften it. So I'll do just a little bit at a time. And that is my transition color. So you can instantly see how it just overall looks more natural and it doesn't go from bronze to pink immediately. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And we're going again right in between the apple of the cheek 
and the bronzer, so right in between. And be sure to stipple, never swipe, so that way we don't remove any of the foundation that we have underneath. Perfect, and that's a transition shade. Now, once you're done with your transition shade, we're gonna go ahead and apply our pop color, which is our blush color. Now, when applying your blush, you wanna use a round brush. I'm gonna go ahead again and link that for you down below. And today I'm gonna to use my pink shade. And you can also feel free to mix. You don't have to stick with a cool undertone or a warm undertone. You can definitely go in between and create your own shade and do a neutral blush if your skin tone is a little bit more neutral if you wanna try something different. But for today, I'm gonna to do a little pink. Again, you're gonna go ahead and tap the blush and then take the excess onto your hand. Now, application of the blush is very important. You never wanna take the blush and put it too close to your nose. Any redness around the nose makes you look sick, so you wanna be sure to take it a finger away from the nose. Also, too, as a reference, if you wanna um, be sure to put it on the correct spot, you can smile just to be sure you really do put it on the apple of your cheek. And again, be sure not to go too close to the nose. And try to keep your blush up kind of high. Don't put it too close to the concealer, but don't also put it down because you never want to bring your face down. You always want to keep it up. And that is the blush shade. So you can go ahead and take a look and just see how it's so natural. And it just fades so beautifully. It just kind of has a little bit of this light and bright pink and then it fades to this beautiful, almost like mocha color, and then it goes into that really gorgeous bronzy bronze. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And that is the blush on both sides. Now, once I'm done applying my blush, I do like to amp up my blush. And I picked out a few different options just to show you what amp blush is really beautiful on your specific skin tone. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do mine first just so that way you see what exactly I'm talking about. You're probably like, what the heck is she talking about? So I like to take a little bit of a highlighting blush and do this afterwards. So if you can see on my finger, it has a really beautiful pearl iridescent look to it. So I'll just take a really loose brush, again tapping it onto my hand, and I'll take this and I'll put it right over the blush and you'll see instantly how it just makes it look just more radiant and more beautiful. And you can see instantly how it just really amps up my blush. It makes it look overall more glowy, more bright, and just overall gives a really beautiful natural radiance to the face without looking like you have this really big swipe of highlighter on. So it's kind of like a more natural, more sophisticated highlighter, which I really, really enjoy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Now I still do love to wear highlighter. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite highlighters and um, a specific technique that I love to do just so that way it looks really natural. I personally, like I said, I never like to see makeup on the skin. I just feel like whenever you go out in public or if you see people that have like just overall too much makeup, it just, you don't really focus on the person. All you're focusing on is the makeup. So I like everything to look really flawless and effortless. So I'm gonna show you in a later video my favorite way to apply a highlighter. All right, so now that I'm done amplifying my blush, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what blush shades you can use if you wanna amp your blush up. Now, if your skin tone is very fair, all the way to fair, you wanna go with a, with a tone that kinda has like a little bit more of a pearl iridescence to it. This shade looks really, really, really gorgeous on someone that is more fair. You can see, if I did that on my, on my cheek, how instantly it's gonna be way too pink, way too light, but if your skin tone is very fair, be sure to look for a amp blush color that has a little bit more of a pearl effect to it. 
So now I'm going to show you a shade that you can use if your skin tone is a medium skin tone complexion. This one has a little bit of pink and gold to it. So when you put this on top of your blush, it looks really natural. And this is also the one that I'm currently using, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. So if you take a look right over here, I already put some on my skin, you can see how it has a little bit of a pink and gold undertone. So that looks really, really beautiful on a fair to medium complexion. It just looks really natural. It doesn't go on super pink or super light where you can tell that you have something on top of your blush. Now, if your skin tone is deep dark to very dark, I recommend going with a pop shade that has a little bit more of a cranberry tone to it. A cranberry tone on a deep dark complexion goes on so flawlessly and so be beautifully and it doesn't look super pink or super orange. It just really does amp that blush, but it gives a really beautiful cinnamon bronze color. Just That just looks so gorgeous on a deep to deep dark complexion. So the last and final step to your blush application is going to be taking your powder brush, but you're not gonna dip it into your powder because we don't wanna erase the work that we just did, but we're gonna take whatever's left over on our powder brush, and we're just gonna stipple that over the blush just so that way it looks more soft and looks more natural. And it also looks like that color is coming from within our skin and it doesn't look like we have all this makeup on. Now I really hope you enjoyed this blush tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment me down below. But until then, I will see you on another episode of Demos by Dina and I thank you so much for being here. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.